Hello church, looking at Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and 8 today for our daily Bible reading. Just want to look at verse 14 of chapter 7, as our word of the day is considered. So let's see what Solomon tells us. In the day of prosperity, be joyful. In the day of adversity, consider. God has made the one as well as the other, so that man may not find out anything that will be after him. This is the first set of verses in both these chapters are Proverbs, little kind of wise, pithy sayings that are easy to remember that gives us insights into things. But then, once again, it goes to this, this aspect of considering. All right, we usually don't have trouble finding joy in prosperity, in the blessings of God. But, he says, okay, find joy in that. That's easy. But then, he says, also consider the day of adversity that both of them are from God. That just as we looked at earlier, that there's different times, different seasons for everything, we know that sometimes God gives us blessings and prosperity, other times he gives us moments of adversity. But both of them are from God, and they're both for a reason. And here, once again, he's tying all this stuff, it's because he doesn't know what's going to happen after the fact. We're not told exactly how old Solomon probably was when he was writing this, but my guess is this is in his later stages of life, and he realizes all the success, all the things he's been able to accomplish, but no, is going to pass on to his sons. And from us looking at history, we know his kingdom didn't last too long after him. And so, once again, it's this consideration of enjoy the things you have, the good and the bad, um, because we have no real control over what happens to things or possessions after we leave. And so, once again, it's this aspect of humility and trusting in God and provisions and being just focused on what we can control, which is the here and now and how we respond to things now. So, consider, church, whether you're in good times or adversity, that God's given us both to give us perspective and humility. All right, church, have a great day.